Perfect. All right, our presentation is Choose Illinois Wesleyan by Jaron Simpson and myself. So why Illinois Wesleyan? One of the reasons why we thought Illinois Wesleyan was a good fit was is that we have super committed professors. 97% of professors hold the highest degree in their respective field, so they're experts in everything that's going on. They're very up-to-date on everything that they deal with. Uh, we have supportive alumni networks. When I quit the basketball team, Coach Rose told me, once a Titan, always a Titan. Yeah. That uh, doesn't only apply to uh, sports, it really applies to outside the classroom as well. Uh, we have a very high retention rate. Once students get to Wesleyan, they experience Wesleyan, they tend to stay at Wesleyan. 91% of students stay. Uh, we're considered a very prestigious and selective university, so there's that element to it. For the cost, you get that prestigious and selective feel. Uh, and we're both close to uh, Chicago and St. Louis. So if you want to hop on the train or drive to Chicago for a weekend or St. Louis, you have the ability to do so. Gotcha. More reasons why you should attend Illinois Wesleyan. The average class size is 16 people, which is relatively small. Uh, it really delivers that personalized feel. You're not just a number. Um, you really mean something to that classroom environment. And I can speak to business and political science. There are required courses you have to take, but students do have a lot of autonomy to select their own classes uh, and really choose the path that they want to go down. You have an opportunity to truly meet the professor. Uh, in bigger lecture halls like at ISU, where there's 200 people, it's hard to develop that relationship. Whereas when you're around 16 people, it's easy to meet the professor. We have high-tech, state-of-the-art facilities. Um, in the science building, we have a lot of high-tech lab equipment. In the art building, we have a lot of good equipment. Um, that's a big selling point for a lot of students. And we are the number one undergrad institution for job placement in Illinois. If you're going to spend the money to attend Illinois Wesleyan, you want a job coming out of school, it's important. Uh, this statistic is very important. A little bit about the culture. Students support their peers in other activities. Uh, I went to a play last week. It was a really good experience. I tend to support other athletes, other sports, and in turn, they support us right. in our activities. Uh, faculty and students are always willing to help. Students are very friendly. Faculty is very friendly. Uh, I've never had a problem with office hours, going into office hours, asking a question. Uh, we're exclusively undergrad. This is a big selling point at the university because you don't have professors that are going out doing uh, sabbaticals mm -hmm. or trips. You don't get grad assistance. You get the actual professor teaching the class. We have inclusive clubs and in campus life uh, and various opportunities to get involved. Uh, the attitude surrounding the clubs and campus life is usually very positive. And uh, if you can't get involved on Illinois Wesleyan's campus, you really aren't looking hard enough <laughs> because there are a lot of clubs right. and a lot of opportunities. And we're located in a college town. We have Heartland, ISU, and then Eureka College is close by. But uh, there's a good nightlife, there's a good social scene, and that's big for a lot of people. Even though Wesleyan is a smaller school, uh, you can go right across the street and get that bigger feel, okay. which is important. Okay, so <clears throat> I'd like to talk about the sticker price versus the actual cost. And I know that uh, the price of our school, like, deters a lot of people away from attending yeah but um if we were not to focus on the full price which is sixty thousand, and actually just focus on uh drilling in the average cost which is roughly around twenty seven thousand um per family and then you can also see the family income breakdown based on family income and what it will cost to go here so you're paying pretty much half of the price regardless so i feel like if wesleyan would um make that more well known more students would be attracted and realize that, okay, we're paying a similar cost to U of I, getting a similar degree U of I, but yeah, sure, it's a little, it's 7,000 more than mm -hmm. ISU, but in turn, it'd be more beneficial in the long run. So I feel like if we could just hammer that home to, to students and make sure they really understand that 60,000 is not what you're gonna pay at all. So hopefully that will be good for uh, uh, something the admissions office can look forward to doing so but yes yeah, so sticker price versus actual cost um, and then our graduation rate so we graduated at 82 percent rate and I'm pretty sure um, the acceptance rate is 60 around 62 or 67 percent and I have it later in the slides mm -hmm. but 
to do that is incredible and it speaks volumes to what Wesleyan can offer because it's saying that over the four years there's something being done by professors and students um, that helps them achieve at a high level and graduate from a very like obviously prestigious and selective university so hmm. an 82 percent graduation rate is honestly amazing and like you said the retention or like ethan said um, the retention rate was 91 percent so once people are here at wesleyan they feel the culture they feel how professors can help them they go to the classes they feel the outside uh social clubs and and aspects like that and they they tend to stay so and then here's a uh, image right there but out of the one that like 1200 kids that go here 82 percent graduate 13 withdrew five transferred and one percent are still enrolled so it just speaks volumes to the the um the system wesleyan okay. has built and then so yeah i'd like to speak, <laughs> speak on honestly the committed professors we have as, as ethan mentioned because our classes are supposed to small um we're able to get uh, a more personal relationship with the professors and I'd like to mention Caribou Sony and Fred Hoyt because they are what like two of the professors that really spent the most time with me um, mm -hmm. in terms of like opening my mind to new thinking helping me out outside the classroom and always being there for me when I needed help and honestly just teaching more about uh, not only academics but about life in general right. they they tended to open up themselves and really put their students first so I feel like if we could highlight maybe these professors and uh, make them well known to students prior to coming to school, I think that'd be beneficial for not only the students, but the professors as well, because they'll feel like they're being valued and um, the students that are enrolled yeah. and are planning on coming here, they can see these professors and look up to them before they can even meet them. So I feel like that'd be good. But yeah, just based off personal experience, they, they really helped shape my education here and really helped make the transfer process easy because I transferred from UW Whitewater and at first I was kind of skeptical about going here but after being in classes and realizing how much the help professors can help it just opened the doors to new opportunities and new connections so that was really great and then yeah so um, we have dedicated and supportive alumni um, so below I have just a list of speakers and these are just a couple of speakers that came to speak to our seminar and sales class uh, with Professor Hoyt mm -hmm. and through that class we just learned that Wesleyan graduates care about Wesleyan graduates and that's something to really harp on because after uh, you graduate you're going to looking for a job you're going to look for certain things but Wesleyan alumni are always looking out for recently new Wesleyan graduates and it that was just shown through all these speakers that came here because they took the time out of their busy schedules to come back and speak to uh, an upcoming class of Wesleyan graduates and they want to see that succeed. So I think it's very beneficial and very important to always highlight um, the, the alumni because they do care so much about the place that they graduated from and they want to see it uh, progress and go and reach new heights. So I think if we could definitely highlight the alumni and how they give back, I think that'd be great. So okay. the Career Center also does a fantastic job of facilitating the relationship between the student and the, the alumni who come to campus. We had some mock interviews and a few various different role playing situations to uh, prepare us for what's to come outside of the classroom. So the Career Center is very important and plays an instrumental role, instrumental role in uh, student success. So that's it. Yeah. Huh? So that is why. <laughs> that is why you should come to West. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Choose IWU. be honest with you, it's going to come down to cost. $60,000 is it's way out of my budget. I got three kids in school right now. I got a dog that has diabetes. I got a grandma that's in a wheelchair. She's trying to move back in the house. I just can't afford it. Okay, well, it's great that you mentioned that um, because I have a great stat right here. Um, the 60000 is not necessarily the full price you're paying. And admissions counselors here in financial aid services they do a great job of uh, lowering that cost to something that's more affordable for you and your family uh, so really the average cost per student 
is uh, twenty seven around twenty seven thousand. Um, and if you could look here, you can see the breakdown of how much you would pay um, based on your family's income. So as the income increases, obviously you pay more. But we're willing to admissions and financial aid are willing to work with uh, families who aren't in the position to really uh, help their kids go to school. So we're willing to lower admissions and financial aid, obviously are willing to lower the cost and, yeah. and make it affordable and affordable for the student for the family. I mean, looking at your thing, I'm gonna fall in the cost range of about 17,000, but I got Eastern offering me 12,000 to go. I got uh, other schools offering me a little bit less. I mean, how do you guys compare? I got Augustana is offering me probably about 15,000. I mean, even that's 2,000 less, but I mean, a penny saved is a penny saved. Sure. Well, that, that $2,000 to $5,000 that you'd save with them, that will help you in the short term. But once you do graduate from Wesley and you have that degree, uh, that degree carries a little bit more weight uh, and your starting salary is obviously a little bit higher. We have the statistics here. Um, the starting salary for Illinois Wesleyan is $61,000 compared to the other schools. Uh, at Eastern you have 51,000 and then at Augustana you have 51,000. So that's $10,000 more. So while it may cost you more in the short, short term, once you have that degree, you'll make that up pretty quickly. Uh, Cause I'm still, I mean, Loans are also a thing too. I don't want to have to pay that much on loans. So as I was saying, the financial aid services, they do a really good job of helping every student get the most out of the dollar in terms of how much they're paying for school. Uh, so the total, typically the total monthly loan payment for Wesleyan would be around 250 and Augustana's would be around 280. So you're paying uh, a, li a little bit cheaper for a, a, a degree that most holds more weight and uh, will, will need more in the long run in terms of uh, job placement. So, and starting salary, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, you say you were an athlete here, right? Yes. Yeah, so I mean, I'm considering playing sports too. How do you got I mean, even with that, how do you think balancing that out with sports and academics? I mean, the first year, the first year, you might find struggles, but um, fortunately, here at Wesleyan, all of our coaches um, understand how rigorous our academics are, and they're willing to adapt and and be flexible with their schedules to accommodate to us. So um, I feel like that's great because it helps you um, uh, manage your time better because you are you do have these uh, willing coaches that understand how hard it is to succeed academically here, but they're willing to help you uh, facilitate your success. So. The professors work closely with coaches, so if there's an away game, uh, the coach will let the professor know, or it's really the student's responsibility to let the professor know that, hey, we're going to be on the road, um, we're going to be gone on these dates, what do I need to get done to stay on top of my schoolwork? Um, for most student athletes, the day is pretty planned out, your mornings, uh, are full of classes mm -hmm. and then around three for basketball is around three for baseball is probably around three or four mm -hmm. uh, you have your practice for let's say two and a half hours and then you shower get something to eat and then there's school work so there's not a lot of time in your day for you to mess around but the uh, athlete balance the student athlete balance is definitely very attainable mm -hmm. um, but we are able to balance it out grades and everything yep and then another thing in, is say you do want to be an athlete um, it's just a, a, a great thing to have in your resume because it shows that you actually, for four years, uh, you managed your time and, and you were able to uh, do two things, be successful in school and be successful in the field. And that speaks volumes to employers uh, in the long run so that you're already setting yourself up for success in the future. So that's another thing. If you do choose to come here and play athletics, that will be beneficial for you in the long run, especially. The student athlete coming out of Wesleyan uh, usually, I can't say always, but usually displays strong leadership uh, tendencies and time management tendencies, uh, is able to multitask because their day uh, for that four years was so busy. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be at the top of my list, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay.